The Play With Loose program is a program that's designed to uh, entice and, uh, and introduce young women into academic uh, research and industrial research careers for this, the exact purpose of bringing more young women into fields in which they're underrepresented, specifically science, engineering, mathematics. So my professor here at Olin ended up approaching me about doing research with him next semester and this summer about wireless power transfer, which is using two coils and using the power of mutual inductance between them to pass power from one to the other. And we're doing the math behind it. So there's lots of undiscovered math principles about how that works, and we're trying to figure out what those are. I had um, Emily in uh, model and control um, during the fall, um, she actually did for her final project a uh, very mathematical modeling that was not unlike the work that she's doing right now. She had the raw talent but also this sheer enjoyment um, and that's very rare to find somebody that actually enjoys deriving math. Young women, uh, generally speaking, self-select out of research careers. Uh, partially this is just because they don't see it appealing because it's misrepresented often in the media. It's partially because they may lack uh, a little bit of self-confidence. They may not understand or appreciate the validity and excitement of their own ideas. The only way to counter this is to get more young women into research, into research experiences from a young age to get them to understand how exciting and interesting it can be and how it's really a social endeavor. It's something that's fun where you work together a lot, where you collaborate, you have fun and funky discussions about various weird research topics, uh, you laugh a lot, and generally have a very good time. The application process was just, you wrote a research proposal about your project, and you wrote a specific personal statement about how you felt that this would affect your career as an engineer and where you wanted to take your research and why research was important to you as a woman. Writing the application served for both of us to agree on what the project was going to be, the scope and everything like that. I've been a woman in an underrepresented field for a very long time now, uh, starting when I was an undergraduate. I've been in physics the whole way. Women are not encouraged by society to put forth and advocate for their own ideas, not in the same way that men are. I think that in high school, I really had a difficult time as a woman in the maths and science fields because I think that there's just, a, at least in, in my high school, there was a lot of assumed superiority for men in, in maths and sciences. And it's not that people were outwardly um, offensive about it or that we're outwardly condescending towards women in maths and sciences it's just that it wasn't as acceptable for me as a student to step up and be confident in what I was doing and to assert an answer and defend it as wholeheartedly as, as a male student would. And this is shared between women and me as a minority so there's sometimes this cultural thing of if you're not asked to do something you're you know it's not that you are afraid of doing it or, or shy about doing it. It's nobody asked me, so I should not volunteer myself. This kind of opportunity allows women to feel that nobody's asking for anybody else for permission, so volunteer. That there's that barrier is not there. I wish that we get to be in a society where no special programs are needed, but in the meantime, I do like the fact that there's a, a very concrete program that is dedicated uh, for women. Part of being at Olin has been a little bit different because there's more acceptance and, and more, I guess, gender neutrality in the classroom, but even then, I think that there's a lot of remnants of that kind of high school environment, so the Claire Booth Blues program is really awesome because it focuses in on, on getting women in specifically research fields. As more women get involved, as more women work together, as women start to build their own culture within science and engineering, we can actually change the culture of the field for the better. It's hard and it's hard and lonely in ways that unless you are a minority in some sense, you will not understand. There's very few people and the higher up you go, 
the stronger the filters are. Build a network, make a lot of friends, and keep trying. Don't give up, because you do belong there. <laughs>